Let's go to page 360. Start with number one. Okay, it, it says if y varies inversely, means k over x, right? So y vary inversely as x. And when y equal to 3, x equal to 6. So that's your case 1. And then case 2 says find x when y is equal to 18. Okay, so that's your second case. Okay, so let's go and substitute to find k. So you got 3 equal to k over 6. So to get rid of the fraction, multiply both sides by common denominator. So this will cancel out. So k equal to 18. So once I find k equal to 18, I'm going to update my equation. So I got y equal to 18 over x. Okay, so that's my updated equation. Then after that, then I'm going to use this equation to solve for that. So 18 equal to 18 over x. Okay, so in this case, you can see x equal to 1. But if you don't see that, multiply by common denominator. So this will cancel out. So you got 18x equal to 18, divided by 18, divided by 18. So x equal to 1. Okay, number three, if, if W is inversely proportional to the square of V, okay, so the square of V, and so the case one, it says in W equal to three, when V equal to six, so that's your case one, and case two, It says find W when V equal to 3. Okay, so that's your case 2. Okay, so you can substitute this in here to find K. So you got 3 is equal to K over 6 squared. Okay, so 6 squared is 36. So I'm going to multiply by 36 on both sides. So I can cancel these things out. So K equal to... Uh, 108. Okay. Okay, once I find my k, I'm gonna update my equation. So I have w equal to 108 over v squared. Now once I update my equation, I can use the equation to solve. Okay, so w equal to 108 divided by uh, the 3 square. Okay, so use your calculator. So w so divide you're gonna get equal to 12. Okay, number five, if z is jointly proportional, so it'd be k times x and y. Okay, so z is jointly proportional to x and y. And it says, and z equal to 18 when x equal to 0 0.4 and y equal to 3. Okay, so that's your case one. Okay, now let's go to case two. It says, find z when x equal to 1.2 and y equal to 2. So that's your case 2. So I'm going to put subsquare 2. Okay. Okay, so again, all the steps are the same. So substitute everything to look for k. So x is 0 0.4 and y is equal to 3. Okay, so to solve for k, I need to get rid of those two. So I'm going to divide by 0 0.4 on both sides. So again, when you have an equation, whatever you do on one side, you do exactly the same on the other side. Okay, so this will cancel out. I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides. So this will cancel out. So k equal to... Now when you use your calculator, everything on the bottom, you have to push divide on the calculator. So you have to go 18, divide by 0.4, push equal, then you have to divide by 3. Okay, so k equal to 15. Okay, so once you find k equal to 15, you update the equation. So you got z equal to 15xy. Then after that, you substitute. You can use the equation to solve for z. So z equal to 15 times 1.2 times 2. Right? That's your x and the y. So z equal to 1.2. Okay, 
okay, so equal to 36. Okay, let's go to number seven. Yes, it, it says if S vary directly as R and inversely as T. Okay, and you got when an S equal to 10, R equal to 5, and T equal to 3. So that's your case one. Okay. It says for what value of T, so you're looking for T, where S equal to 3 and R equal to 4. Okay, so you can substitute everything to, to, to get your k. So you got 10 equal to k times 5 over 3. Okay, okay so first get rid of the fraction, so multiply both sides by 3. So this will cancel out. Okay, so you got 30 equal to 5k, divide by 5, divide by 5, so k equal to 6. So update your equation, so s equal to 6r over t. Okay, then use the equation to solve. So s equal to 3, so substitute so 3 equal to 6 times r over t. Okay, so first get rid of the fraction, so multiply by t, so that this will cancel out. So you got 3t equal to uh, 24, then divide by 3 on both sides, so t equal to 8. Okay, let's go to next one. Okay, number nine. Suppose Z very jointly as U and V and inversely as a W. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff. Okay. Okay, so so again it's very jointly as U and V and inversely as W. Okay, and that z equal to 0 0.8 when u equal to 8, v equal to 6, w equal to 5. So this is your case 1. Okay? And then it says find z, so you're looking for z, when w equal to 2. Oh, wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. 8, uh, 0.8865. Okay. Okay. So find z when u equal to 3, v equal to 10, and w equal to 5. There you go. Okay. Okay. So substitute everything here. Look for k. So you got 0 0.8 equal to k times 8, 6 over 5. Okay. Okay. First, let's get rid of the fraction. So divide by, uh, multiply by 5, so I can get rid of fraction. So 4 equal to k times 8 and 6, okay? And then after that, I need to divide by 8, divide by 8, so this will cancel out. Divide by 6, divide by 6, so this will cancel out. So k equal to uh, 1 over 12. So once I find k equal to 1 over 12, I'm going to update my equation. So z equal to 1 over 12, uv over w. Okay, now I can use that to solve. So z equal to 1 over 12 times u is 3, v is 10 over 5, uh, w is 5. So get a calculator. Okay, so one one over twelve, okay, times three, times ten, equal divided by five equal uh, one half. Okay, if you decimal equal to zero point five.